guys, it's your girl T, and I want to shout out 47 Cartoon Guy. He had left a comment on one of my videos. He wanted to know my opinion on the new online reality show. It's called The Real Baby Mamas of Richland. This show is crazy. A lot of people are talking about it. A lot of folks are saying that it's ratchet and it shouldn't be online. My first thought is, where the hell is the petition? You know, everybody was so gung-ho to sign the Shotty Low petition. Where's the petition for this show? So anyways, it's causing so much controversy that the news in Richmond has gotten involved. I'm going to go ahead and play you guys a news clip, and then I will come back with the rest of my commentary. Because tonight is the premiere of the city's own reality show. Get ready for Pumpkin and her friends. They are the real baby mamas of Richmond. The series follows the struggles of a group of single mothers in the Richmond area. Richmond reporter Laura Geller sat down with some of them today to explore this unusual new show. The Real Baby Mamas of Richmond doesn't premiere until 9 o'clock tonight, and already it's stirring up controversy, getting both positive and negative feedback. The Real Baby Mamas of Richmond, yeah. Introducing for the first time tonight, The Real Baby Mamas of Richmond. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Show creator Aretha Lewis, known on the show as Pumpkin or Big Sexy, says you can bet there'll be some baby mama drama. When you get this many women working together, it's nothing but drama. Lewis says the title alone has prompted criticism. They were saying it was ratchet, it was ghetto because of the title of it. Some have said it's going to reinforce stereotypes. I've never been married, so I'm not a housewife. But Lewis, who has four children by four different men, looks at it like this. At the end of the day, I know I'm not a baby mom. I'm really a mother and a father to my four children. The show explores the challenges of being a single mom in the city, spotlighting eight women. Each one has between two and nine children. Chanel Thomas's nickname on the show is Coco. We all had a choice, and we all had a decision. Everything... My pregnancies weren't planned. This is not what I planned to do with my life. However, once it was given to me, I made a decision to do the best that I can do. Lewis is hoping Richmonders will see the positive message she's trying to convey. Are we encouraging single parenting? No, we're not. But I just want to let them know that it can be done without a father. Tonight we're on your TV. You wish you was a real baby mama like me. Again, the series premiere is tonight. A new episode will air every Monday at 9 o'clock. In Richmond, I'm Laura Geller for NBC 12 News. Okay, so you guys just watched the news clip, and this whole premise to me is just sad. I think it's a sad day and time when we're rewarding people for having multiple baby daddies, not really doing anything, and creating a reality show. You know, when we're praising folks for having four, five, and six babies' fathers, I think there's something wrong. There's definitely a breakdown in the family unit, and there's definitely a breakdown in society. When you can have multiple kids by multiple people, but, but then still scream that man ain't shit and there's no good man out here, it makes me give you the side eye. Now, I understand that this woman has a hustle, and I understand they're just trying to make money. I understand that. But I think everything does not need to be a hustle. You know what I'm saying? Your children, your life, everything doesn't need to be put out there for people's consumption. As you guys know, I was married for seven years. Me and my ex had known each other since we was like 16. So we were together damn near 12 years, married for seven. We're divorced now. But I'm saying this to say this. I don't want young girls to see this show and think that it's cool to be a baby mama or that it's cool to be a single mother or to go out with the premise that if I get pregnant, it's all good. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to just be a baby mama. I'm going to just get child support. Your children need a mother and a father. Your kids need that male energy and that female energy. Can you raise a child by yourself? Yes, you can. Is it to be done? Not if you can help it by all means. You know what I'm saying? I'll be the first to say that. Me being a single mother, I hate that shit. I don't like being a single mother. I wish my ex would step up more. But it is what it is. I can't, you know, force anybody to do anything that they don't want to do. You know what I'm saying? But it's just the point that it's, it's not easy. You know, and I don't want girls to see this reality show and think that, oh, it's cool and, you know, it's all about partying and going to the club and baby mama drama and fighting girls. It's not easy at all. You know, you have to be mom and dad. You have to be there. You got to do the homework. You got to be there with them, entertain them. And then on top of that, I work 40 hours a week. You know what I'm saying? I'm constantly at work trying to make ends meet. And then I make YouTube videos. So my time is stretched so thin. You know, between my kids, YouTube, and work, it is not easy being a single mother at all. But, you know, everything happens for a reason. So if you find yourself in that position, you have to step up and do what you have to do. But why put yourself in the worst position? If you're already a single mother with one child, why be a single mother with two, 
three, four, and five kids. That's the shit I don't understand. Right now, I'm a single mother of two. Do you think I'm about to just up and get pregnant? Hell no. I'm not having no more kids. I'm cool. It's hard enough phrasing two. I don't need any more. You know, and especially by multiple people. I don't have time to deal with different people's personalities and, you know, different baby daddies. I just don't have patience for the bullshit. So I deal with enough nonsense from one guy. I refuse to deal with nonsense from more than one guy. You know, and I'm not knocking people who have kids by different people because everybody's situation is different. Everybody's relationship with their baby's fathers and baby's mothers are different. But, you know, I just feel like this show is almost making it seem like it's cool to have a bunch of kids out here by different people. You know, and it's cool to be a baby mother. And, you know, I just, I hate that term and I just think that we need to aspire to something better you know how about it's cool to be married how about it's cool to you know be in a relationship with your baby's father even if you're not married how about it's cool to co-parent and be there for your child you know and a lot of these guys that I'm seeing that they're fighting over in the show are not about nothing most of them aren't working most of, most of them you know they're out in the streets hustling so you knew he wasn't really on shit but you still chose to get pregnant by him and now you know you're upset so this whole show to me, is, it is kind of ratchet. I'm not trying to knock her hustle, but personally, I won't be watching the show just like I will not watch Shotty Lowe's show. These are not shows that interest me. You know what I'm saying? If I want to see some ratchet shit, I'll watch Love and Hip Hop Atlanta. I'm not going to watch this show. But anyways, go ahead and leave a comment. Let me know what you guys think about the entire situation. How do you feel about the show? Do you think it's ratchet? Are you going to watch it? How do you guys feel about the term baby's mother? Or baby mama, because a lot of people find it offensive and they don't like that term. So let me know what you guys think about the entire situation. All right, deuces.